good morning. As you can see, I've got the entire uh, set of grow boxes all working and operational. It's a fill and drain system. It gets filled from that side and it drains out of this side through these drains. And uh, I've had, uh, and it's all working, it's all fully operational, and I'm going to build another set of these on that side of the greenhouse. But for now, um, I thought I'd explain a little bit how it works. And I've, I know that some people have tried doing something like this, but what happens is as you adjust the flow rates of, it's just tedious, let's just say. It gets very tedious to try to adjust the flow rate in this box, and then you screw up the flow rate in that box. You know, it's, anyway, so let me show you how I've done this. And uh, first of all, what you got to do is uh, I have a, a header pipe here. Now, if you want to, that pipe runs the length. Now, if you want to keep, you, if you want to keep the flow rate constant, you know, and not interfere with the other pipes. In other words, if you've made a, a flow change here, and you don't want it to change there. What you've got to do is have a constant pressure in that header pipe, no matter what you do. Now, that sounds pretty uh, easy, but a concept, but how do you do that? Because, see, if you had valves, for example, and you had all these tied up to a valve, and then you'd have a certain pressure in the pipe, and if you adjusted this valve, say you wanted a little more pressure here, you wanted more flow, so you adjust this valve, then you got more flow, but now the pressure's gone down in the pipe just a little bit, but it's enough to reduce the flows in all the other ones. So they're all interrelated, and they're all screwing, you know, it's very difficult and tedious to do that. So, what I've done is, well, you can see another thing I've done, is I have no valves here at all. And I did that on purpose, because one of the things I've learned in my profession uh, is that the fewer parts and components that you can use in any system, generally, the more reliable it is. There's no valves in there, there's no filters in here, and I've done that on purpose just to make it so there's fewer failure points. So, let me show you here how I've done this, kept the pressure constant. Okay, now as you can see, the, uh, the pipe comes up here, that header comes up here, and what it does is it terminates right here. And you can see it comes up here, and then it comes down here, and it overflows right down there. You see that running in there? Uh, anyway, trust me, it runs in there. And that's where this water in here is coming from. So what's happening is a lot more water is coming down that pipe and overflowing in here that is being used in all of these uh, grow beds together. So what's happening here is the, the pressure in this pipe uh, uh, you know, and we're going to use idealistic uh, situation, uh, idealistic uh, physics here to explain this, because there is some friction in the pipe and all that. But ignore that for a minute. But the pressure in the pipe is held constant by how high this pipe is right there on the end of the pipe. Because if the pre if the water gets any higher than this in the pipe, you know the pressure builds up and builds up and builds up. How high it goes. But where it runs off, it, the pressure can't get any higher than that. We'll allow it to because that's what they call the maximum head pressure. So what happens is, if you open up all these full, all, all fully wide open, you'll still have flow in here, excess flow, coming down this pipe. So what that'll do is that will keep constant flow. So if you... Uh, throttle down the flow in all these, what happens is you'll have a lot more flow coming out here, but that point right there, because the water can't go any higher, will keep it constant. So, then what you do is, these are all adjusted by gravity flow. So in other words, you see this pipe going up here? This point here is the adjustment for how much water flow you get. And you see, I've all got them there, and you can see where, you know, you, I can adjust it up and down, and hold it in place where I want it. And here's one where you can see some water flow. And here's a nice one here where you can really see a lot of flow coming out of there because there's a lot of bubbles in there. But as you can see, each one of these is controlled that way. Now, that's basically how you get it to where you can adjust the uh, individual flow of each of these system, each of these grow beds without a valve, 
and without any components and without interfering with what's coming out of this one. In other words, if I adjust this one, you know, that doesn't mess up the other ones because the pressure in the pipe will stay constant because of that overflow in that little head point area back there. Now, now the drain is very simple. I've got a drain up at a high point and if the water basically gets up to this point, it'll start running out. And that's pretty simple and straightforward. Now, uh, so that's really how it works. I just thought I'd uh, go on a little, uh, <laughs> little explanation. And, you know, you can do this too. And I, I would recommend doing it this way if you can because it's simple. It's very simple. There are no valves. There are no filters. There are no components, really, where something could go wrong, you know, unless you damage something or something like that. But anyway, that's basically how it works. And then all the water, of course, runs back into the fish pond. And it's always that much water, whether I've got these uh, over here throttled open or closed or whatever. You know, if I close all these, it all overflows. And I'll still have that same flow rate over there. So that's really the magic of how you do it, is keeping a constant pressure in that pipe, that header pipe. And you do that by having a head thing over there, by having a head height over there, and then tapping off there, and always have something overflowing into the main stream here, so that that pressure stays constant, no matter what you do to each individual one of these. So again, like I say, I'm beating this point to death. If I change the flow rate here by either more or less, it doesn't affect the others at all. And there's no valves. So... That's what I like to do, and I think it works pretty well. It's been running now for about two weeks, and uh, it works great. <laughs>